Motorcast, the latest in automotive news. Brett Worf here with you on WBKR.com each and every Thursday at 5.30. It's all brought to you by Diesel Up in Newburgh. And coming up tomorrow, summer dyno days, and we're getting very excited for this. So come on out, 3247 Commerce Drive in Newburgh, Indiana, and get set up on the dyno. Bring your trucks, bring all your fun and all your friends and your family. 75 bucks three pulls on the dyno. It's going to be a blast. Also, you can join us out there. We're going to be broadcasting live between 1.30 and 3.30, so you can come on out and uh, join me, and we'll have some fun. Kicking the show off this evening, we're just going to go off the cuff, and we're not going to edit anything for a few minutes anyway. And the State Department is holding a briefing on a plane crash that happened in the Ukraine. Now, MH17 is the new Malaysian flight that is in the news, and of course, we kicked off um, March with some serious news about MH370 and how it was lost. We still don't know anything about that, where it may be. Still, I'm assuming that search efforts are still, you know, going on in the Indian Ocean at this point. But now we have a new Malaysia flight that has uh, been shot down. It was flying over the Ukraine. It was 31 miles away from the Russian border when this happened, right near Donetsk. And, uh, you know, State Department, they say that we're closely monitoring the situation. 280 passengers, along with 15 crew members, were on board of this flight when uh, it was shot down. It was at its cruising altitude, 33,000 feet, and it was shot down. And we just want to say God bless the families that were on the plane, the people that were affected on the ground, and the families that may have lost loved ones. God bless. Now, it's quite difficult to jump back into the news on a fun-filled automotive show after saying stuff like that, but we're going to try our best anyway. It's FCA kicking the news off today, and FCA, Fiat, Chrysler Automotive, proudly now joined to the hip for the 2014 year. It's the Dodges, and if you've been at any of your Chrysler, Dodge, or Jeep dealerships recently, you have seen the booklet with the brand new 2015 Challenger on it, that as well as the new Charger. And while General Motors CEO Mary Barra and General Counsel Michael Milliken face a Senate hearing, FCA seems to be flourishing. Let's talk Challenger for a minute. Back in the 1950s, every single American car was enormous. And in 1958 and 1959, Dodge brought out the Silver Challenger. I said enormous a minute ago, 217 and a half inches long this thing was. It came with two engine variants, including a 3.8 liter and a 5.3 liter. Both of them less than $2,500 right off the lot. And as the years moved on, they got a little bit shorter. They dropped the Silver off and they just called it the Challenger. The best year for the Challenger? 1969. And from 69 to 74, it had eight different engine options. A couple of slant sixes, some mid-range V8s, the big dog 426, and the screamer, the 440. And from 1974 to 2008, the Challenger nameplate was never pressed again. They brought the Challenger back when the United States was in sort of this throwback mood. They noticed that Ford made the Mustang kind of look like the way it did in the 60s, so they did the same thing with the Challenger. I don't really know what they were thinking with the Charger, but it's just a 300C with a bigger V8. But along with the year change, the car companies of the world now have to make new vehicles. They're tucked in tight with Fiat, so they got a little extra spending cash, and the new guy coming out now is the Hellcat. They announced the pricing options as well as the engine variants for the brand new 2015 Dodge Challenger set to hit the streets sometime soon. Standard model, just under 27000 It has the same engine as the Dodge Grand Caravan, a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. 305 horse, 268 torque. And it's also matted to that 8-speed automatic transmission, so gas mileage is probably going to be pretty nice. The RT model will have the ever-popular 5.7-liter Hemi V8, 375 horsepower, and 410 pounds of torque. But there's more variants coming up for the 2015 year. How about the RT Scat Pack? Kind of sounds disgusting, but it's got 485 horsepower and 475 pounds of torque, and you're counting on about 50 grand looking at that one. But don't stop there. The SRT Hellcat is coming out, too. You think of the word Mustang. What do you think of that? No, that's a terrible example. You think of the word Corvette. What do you think of then? Beautiful engineering, fast, V8 up front, power in the rear wheels. And if you have a ZR1 Corvette, you say to yourself, so what the key pops out of the ignition? So what the tie rod snaps? So what my windshield wipers don't work and that my transmission shift cable is broken? And so what that my airbags don't deploy all the way? You have the fastest car in America. Not anymore. The SRT Hellcat is going to be using the same 6.2 liter V8 that it had in the previous year. However, it's supercharged now. Back in 2013, the ZR1 Corvette was pushing out an impressive 638 horsepower. And the Hemi Hellcat now has 707 horsepower from the factory. It also has 46 more pounds of torque. So I guess what we need to do now is just deem this the fastest production American car ever made, even though Fiat owns them. 
that's going to do it for MotorCast this week, ladies and gentlemen. And we want to see you guys out at the Diesel Up Garage, 3247 Commerce Drive in Newburgh, Indiana. And you guys can come out between 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. tomorrow, Friday, July 18th, and Saturday, July 19th. And get your dyno on. Have some fun out there. It's going to be great. All of the proceeds that they get are going directly to Trucks for Kids. So come on out. Enjoy lunch. They have food and a raffle. Proceeds from that going to Trucks for Kids as well. And it's just going to be a blast. We're going to be out there broadcasting live from 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. on the Country Station, 92.5 WBKR and online at WBKR.com. We'll see you next week.